Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and today we're going to talk about plugin management. Now, when you start working in any kind of DAW, you're going to want to get plugins if you want to supplement um, your stock plugins. And Reaper has a way to uh, organize them. So let's get stuck in. I'm going to add a new track by double clicking and I'm going to hit the FX button. I'm going to move it down so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to click add. Now I have new plugins that I need to maneuver. You can right click anywhere in the empty space and you can add, well, you can add a developer if you want to, or you can click right click anywhere in here and add folder. So I have a few folders I've added in here to organize and sort. It's like I have things that are amp, bass guitar, things that are channel strips, compressors, delay, de drums, so on and so forth. I put my um, instruments in there as well. And I have some new plugins that I need to organize. Do I have, I do have a folder for mastering. But you would, if you needed to add a new folder, right click, add folder, and then you can give it a name. I haven't used the smart folder function on here, but I, I just move them to us like whatever. Uh, plugins where they go. So I'm just going to just, I'd type in mastering, but I'd have already gotten one. So you can just type a name in there and press OK. Then you have your plugins. I'm going to right click on this plugin and add to folder. And I'm going to select mastering. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one down here since it's a VST3. Where to go? Add a folder. Mastering. And it should show up. And I also need to maneuver these Q ranges into my EQ folder. Add a folder. EQ. And you just right click. I keep losing it. Add a folder. Right click. <laughs> If I could ever remember where it is. EQ. So I'm going to go and check the EQ. I have quite a few different EQs that I've downloaded and moved into here. You can see the Q range is right there. And then I'm going to go over to my mastering folder. And the ones that I got today are in there. Now, there's one plugin manufacturer that I know of specifically that if you put them into folders, once you update, um, they'll disappear out of your, your, um, your personal folders. Uh, and that's Waves. Every time Waves has an, had an update, it would completely disappear and I would add them back in. But then it's like it would do it every time. So once Wave Central updates or you update your plugins, they move themselves out of your specific folder. So I usually just go to developers if I need a Waves plugin and scroll all the way down and get it that way. That's the one that I know that does that. I don't know about any of the other ones that have like their own um, plugin managers. So and that's basically how you manage your plugins. Now, if you're like me, you have a tendency to, ooh, a plugin, let me go grab that. I'll forget to do this. So I know I'm going to have to sit there and go through all the plugins, figure out which ones I downloaded and make sure that they're either in the folder already or if they're not in the folder. I wish there was a way to um, filter it by um, like date added. That would be kind of cool. That way I'd, <laughs> I'd know. But you just sit there and you go through all of your plugins yes there's quite a quite a bit other than the stock reaper plugins that i have there's a lot of js plugins too that come standard with reaper and that's all there is to adding a new folder putting your plugins in there they'll still show up under like 
um, categories, or at least they should. And you could like certainly do it that way, but I like having all my full uh, plugins that I download into a folder. That way I can grab it quickly. It's like, oh, I need that one plugin. I can't remember the name of it, but I know it's for bass. I could click on bass and then it's right there. As long as I put it in the folder. <laughs> so you have to be vigilant on doing that. And I, I haven't been. I know it's gonna take a, uh, a little while to uh, get that done. So how do you manage your plugins? Do you use the folders inside the FX? Or do you have some other way that you do it? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.